Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to properly set up and configure proxy chains so you can stay anonymous while you do your endeavors on Backtrack or any Linux machine for that matter. So if you're not running Backtrack, what you first want to do is you want to install proxy chains. Uh, to do this, you open up console, just type in apt get install proxy chains and it should do it for you automatically. If that doesn't work, I'll I'll link a SourceForge link to the description of the video so you can download it there. Now, if, once you have proxy chains installed, next thing you want to do is you want to edit the config file, basically the settings for proxy chains. Now, this config file is located in Etsy. So uh, you just open it up with a nano editor. So say nano Etsy proxy chains.config. Um, open that up. You see something like this. Um, for those of you who don't know, the little hashtag signs basically say that everything on that line is a comment, and none of the comments are executed as code. So anything that doesn't have a hashtag is rendered as code. For example, there's no hashtag right here, so it I have basically random chains selected. Now I'll go over the, the settings. The options real quick for you guys dynamic chains basically run through all the chains on your list all the proxies on your list and it skips any dead ones um, but as an end result it usually ends up coming out as the same proxy on the back end every time so uh, this could be good this could be bad um, I I don't like dynamic chains personally strict chains um, basically runs through the list the same way dynamic chains does but if it encounters a dead proxy it basically terminates the whole process um i don't even know why this is in here <laughs> random chains is it basically takes all the proxies and it scrambles them up and it, it'll make your exit node random because all the proxies are put together in random order so um this is, I believe, this is the best setting right here. And it gives you the option to even specify how long you want the proxy chain to be. For example, I have it set to be chain length equals two right here. So you can change whatever you want. The longer the length, the slower the proxy. You know, basic stuff. Quiet mode, um, if you have this enabled, it's only gonna be slower. So uh, for basic purposes, I just skip that. Um, proxy DNS requests is kind of important because um, basically if you have this enabled it'll resolve all the DNS requests through proxy chains so say you resolve youtube.com um, you'll resolve the DNS through a proxy now if this is not enabled you'll resolve the DNS through your regular IP so this can be beneficial de regard depending on what you do so um, if you're just trying to stay anonymous the best you can, definitely have this enabled because you never know what when you might need it. Uh, timeouts, basically um, the amount of time the program waits for a proxy to determine whether it's dead or not and uh, how long to wait before it truncates the connection. So leave it as it is. It's a pretty good setting. Um, right here we have an example on how to set... Um, the proxies up so basically you specify the type of proxy IP uh, the port and if there's any username or password so uh, usually this isn't you don't even have to worry about this unless it's a paid proxy so I have my proxy list set up right here and I'll show you guys where to get these proxies at um, you can find them basically anywhere but uh, it's a pretty good website, High Mass. I'm pretty sure you guys know about this. Just go there, and you can open up the IP port proxies right here, and they give you a pretty nice search bar. The countries, um, unless you're biased, doesn't matter. All ports, for now, unless you're doing something specific, all ports is fine. Protocols, um, you just want to stay with SOX 4 or 5. Those tend to be the best. Um, this these settings kind of uh whatever you want to have high anonymity 
whatever. Planet Lab is uh, basically like a thousand nodes across the world that are used for proxies. Uh, pretty good stuff. Speed, fast, connection, time, fast. So the best proxies, right? So you update the results. And you should get something like this. Now, you definitely want to go for the proxies up here, the last updated ones, because they are the ones to work. They're most likely to work. So when you add them to your proxy list, simply would just say, um, this is SOC, they're all SOX 4 or 5. So you can just uh, go down here and say, uh, God, this scroll is not cool. SOX 5. And then type in the IP, say 221.209.36. 44 on port 6666 um, that's basically how you add them you add more and more to the list and you should be better off now once you have a decent proxy list you basically control X to exit yes to save and just enter to overwrite the original file name now you should have proxy chains configured correctly so say um, you want to run something through proxy chains since it's a pretty big program. Um, you don't even have to specify the directory, but if you want to, it's located in bin. So you can just go cd bin and you can just say, um, see, proxy chains is right there in the ls. So um, say you just want to run Firefox through proxy chains. So you just simply say, proxy chains Firefox and boom Firefox is not being initiated through proxy chains uh, now this might take a minute so I'm probably gonna fast forward to this so finally after a couple of minutes proxy chains did its thing and we have Google open through a proxy and as you can see google.hk and it's all in Korean or whatever it could be I don't know um, I'm not even gonna try and do a Google search but basically you can now tell that essentially we're running this to a proxy. So, um, and the beauty of proxy chains is that you can run almost any program in Backtrack through proxy chains. So you don't have to manually configure each program with a proxy. You can just run it through proxy chains. So say you want to run, I don't know, proxy chains and map. So you just say proxy chains and map one whatever oh, wow this happens sometimes because um, it's a long time for the uh, server to respond so say proxy chains and map I don't know one that one and it'll run and map through proxy chains and now this this is much faster because I mean it's configured pretty well so um, you can run X Hydra I mean like anything through proxy chains so just And boom, it's running through proxy chains, and you can start it. And I don't, I'm not even gonna set it up, but once you set it up, it'll run through proxy chains. And that's the cool part: is everything can be done through this program, so you can just stay anonymous without even having to do much for it. So, hopefully, you guys um, found this tutorial useful, and maybe it helped you. Um, if you like it, subscribe. I'll be doing a couple more backtrack videos, and yeah, that's about it. Have a great day, yeah.